Six contestants have been doing my special task. They have no idea how the others have done, but they will soon find out. Let's kick things off by introducing these fabulous people. We've got Ben Loja, <laughs> Carter Green, <laughs> Henry Sprandle, <laughs> Max Barber, <laughs> Owen Gage. And Parker Boisvert. <laughs> and last but not least, he owns more board games than California has forest fires. It's David Hall. <laughs> what do we got for banter for today? Um, so for banter for today, I I just want to say that this episode is a bit you know it's a bit edgier. You know it's got all the explicit content. Um, that is actually true. I, all, literally, all of the explicit things from this entire series are all in this episode. Oh, I didn't do that on purpose. That's just how it came out. So if you are watching with small children, episodes one, three, four, and five are definitely are much cleaner. But I thought maybe to illustrate that, I could like kind of turn this around, kind of <laughs> sit on backwards, kind of have an edgier vibe, right? Okay, <laughs> sure. To show that. Yeah, like Isn't a there a last step in the way? Can anyone actually see that? They can see. Well, I think my demeanor. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are very edgy. Yeah, he wasn't just showing off his crotch, I don't think. <laughs> Could you, like, unbutton just one more button? No, maybe not. Give a shirt on. <laughs> maybe not. Oh, no. oh, 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 Lord. Oh, uh, I gotta leave. <laughs> are they allowed to show that on TV? Yeah. Yeah. We're going explicit this episode. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, well, let's get on with the first task. Okay, well, I hope this first task doesn't make you too bored. Do you know oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi. This can't be. So what am I, where's the, I don't see the note. It's right in front of you, yeah. This is a board game. Is it underneath it? Yeah. It's inside. Oh, clever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's under the box, I see. <laughs> you gonna just make me play Quacks of Quedlinburg? <laughs> <laughs> just play Quacks of Quedlinburg by yourself. No someone else. Play single player Quacks of Quedlinburg. Physically recreate the lore of a board game. Best recreation wins. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Okay. You like board games, fun? Yeah, board games are great. I love board games. You like board games, on? No, <laughs> not really. Not anymore, at least. <laughs> All right. Uh, who are we looking at first? Uh, okay, we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna start with Ben's uh, board game recreation. Uh, ben decided to recreate the board game Clue. Let's take a look. the game Diplomacy, uh, which is a game about kind of warring uh, countries in, during World War One. It's, uh, it's about negotiation and politics. So let's take a look at how Owen uh, showed this. <laughs> All the 
major nations of the world have gathered here, it is now time to reveal the secret orders for the spring of 1903. We will now reveal the secret orders of the Italians. They start by moving one army into the French Alps. recreated the game Wingspan, which is a, um, a game about collecting birds. It's one of your favorites, I believe. Yes, it is, yes. Um, Henry recreated one of his favorite games, um, Chicago Express. Uh, it's a game about running a railroad. Sure. Um, do you want to guess what game Parker recreated? Um, I'm going to say Magic the Gathering. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, there's no, no board involved. No chances. Wow. No chances. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about this one right here. Is this, cut the, cut the is this no, the no, Ixalan no, board game? No, no. Yeah, so we are, we're going we're to see, kind of similar to, to the two we've seen, Max and Parker took um, a, more of a skip-based approach. And Henry took a different approach. Do you understand what the task was supposed to be? <laughs> 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 I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, um... I went a little more verbal. Yeah, I, d I was very worried. <laughs> um, okay, let's take a look. I don't see any birds. Oh, here we are. Two birds. This is awesome. Here I have the chunky leg and chicken. <laughs> Well, that is really cool. But the chunky legged chickadee does have the chunky leg synergy. So, against my better instinct, because I really think Devin's awesome, I think I'm going to go with the chunky legged chickadee. Because this might pay some tremendous dividends down the road. Ready? Okay. Right. You got to go into the stone. Get in the stone. No, it is you who has to go into the stone. Oh my god. Oh no, we're both getting sucked into the stone. Oh my god. Oh no. The demon is gone, but so is the angel. I need to protect the stone so no demons will escape. Actually, I want to let the demons out of the stone. I think that would be cool instead. No, that would actually be really cringe. That would not be cool. <laughs> uh, maybe all my zombies will kill your friends if you do not let the demons out of the stone. Fine, I will break the stone. <laughs> all right, Dave, come here. How do you do again? <laughs> All right, today we're going to be talking about Chicago Express, one of my favorite train games of the birth of the American railway system. In Chicago Express, you play as an investor. Oh, wow. Here we have the chunky-legged swallow. Well, that's going to be awesome with my chunky-legged chickadee. And here we have the weak idiot bird, injured, hopeless. Don't pick this guy. Oh, no. Well, obviously, I, to win the game, I need to pick the chunky-legged swallow. But now I'm leaving this weak idiot bird on its own to die. I feel terrible. How am I going to live with myself? Buying shares in these different companies. <laughs> so we have a couple shares from here. Maybe a share. <laughs> I am free from the stone. But I am also free from the stone. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, excellent. You are free from the stone. I am now going to kill you with magic. Oh, no. <laughs> The end. Oh, we have some rare birds. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Well, here we have Michael, rare bird. Kind of kind of a chad, really, kind of a beast. And he has the chunky legged synergy, obviously, as you can tell by those toned quads. But also, really, you're gonna make me drop Cynthia, my girl? Shut <laughs> up. I can't take Cynthia, the sexy bird. Just because I have this chunky legged synergy going on with me? Wow. Well, I really do want to win this game of Wingspan, so I guess I have to take it. How the American Railway System was born, created, and how capitalism kind of rules transportation. Look at what I had to do. Look at these, these horrendous decisions I had to make. What is this game? This can't even be fun. I just... It's just a losing situation. Don't play Wingspan. <laughs> 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 Alright, who's do you want to talk about first? Well, I wanted to say the park. I think I remember seeing that would be cringe on the flavor text of a magic card once, now that you mention it. Loaded Toad, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, wow. Wow. <laughs> um, you know. I wasn't quite expecting to get a lecture on the history of the American Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a pretty good lecture though, right? It's great. Henry, Henry made it very clear to, to me be before <laughs> filming that he had no idea what he was supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. But I will say, maybe a bit short-sighted for me to criticize Wingspan <laughs> as the degree I did given that you're the taskmaster. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you picked out the game, it was to appeal to him. To <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I got angry, probably, <laughs> thinking about it. So yeah. That's just the way it went. Okay, we've saved one person for last. Mm -hmm. Um, this is Carter. It's got to be good. Attempt. Uh, um, Carter decided to recreate the lore of Monopoly. <laughs> Let's take a look. Anything I'll say for you, too? Or... No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's me, little boy Monopoly in communist Cuba. Hello, son. Why is our, has dad been away for so long? Well, son, it's because he's a revolutionary mm -hmm. and we live in communist Cuba. Oh, are the, are the capitalists really that bad? Well, son, mm -hmm. capitalism and communism are two different economic systems, both of which are very reliant on who's in power at the time. Oh. However, communism does try to help those who are, are a little bit economically disadvantaged. Oh. Thank you for explaining the complex interactions of communism and capitalism to me. I'm gonna go head out. I'll be back later and we can hang out, make some freezy pops or something. That's cool. <laughs> All, All right. right. See ya. Peace. I'm home and I brought stuff for Freezy Pops. <gasps> oh my gosh, Mom! What happened? <laughs> Dad! Dad! What happened? They killed your mother and they broke both of my beautiful legs. <laughs> Who? The capitalists. <laughs> no! Hello, so you are immigrating to capitalist America from mm -hmm. communist Cuba. Mm -hmm. uh, why, why are you coming in? I have lived a good life. Now I must die and become a slave to the gods of vengeance. Okay. <laughs> uh, business or pleasure? Pleasure. <laughs> what kind of pleasure? Business. <laughs> what kind of business? Monopoly! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Yeah, wow. <laughs> I'll say Carter took by far the most time, <laughs> most time to write a script. He spent he spent like uh, I there mean, would be like two more acts. There, he, he, had, he had written basically an entire opera, and we had to cut like half of the story. He wrote so much, script. <laughs> and he wrote for about thirty five minutes an hour, and we had to shoot all of that in the last yeah. twenty five minutes. I'll say the other other games that Carter thought about doing the lore of uh, included Dominoes, <laughs> Uno. <laughs> Mahjong, Twister, Jenga, Scatterbories, and Scrabble. <laughs> I don't know which have any. These are all serious considerations. <laughs> well, you've got Scorum. Yes, and I'm having a lot of trouble here. Yeah, it's a hard one. Um, I think I'm going to put Henry in sixth place. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hold them down to four. Yes, uh, I'm going to. Put Parker and Ben tied for four for fourth. Okay, so three, three points each. Um, yes, three points each. Um, and then you know, Carter's, Max, Owens are all just so good. So I'm just gonna put them all five for first. All right, the winner of that test oh, is yeah. Carter, Max, and Owens. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's up next? All right. Um, we have got some here. Another task. Let's take a look. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> oh, I see a great fist. I'll grape that. I'll grape that. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Come on. Okay, so we have a uh, one Without leaving this rug, get a grape into as many cups as possible. If a grape touches a cup, the deck or the ground, it cannot be used again. Every time you get a grape into a cup, you must laugh maniacally. You have 15 minutes or until you run out of grapes, your time starts now. You have 15 minutes until you run out of grapes. Oh, 15 minutes or until you run out of grapes. Your time starts now. Okay, great bat. <laughs> That's a sound bite. You can use that. Um, can I ask something super quick? Uh, well, I, I'm just going to get to it. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so everyone has to get, a, yeah, try and get as uh, great into as many cups as possible. They couldn't leave the rug. And I should clarify the instruction to laugh maniacally every time they got a grape into a cup. That was just for Henry. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> we just we all we all know that Henry has the best laugh out of everyone. We just wanted to see it some more true. of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It fills me with happiness. Well, you do. So clearly, this is a tricky task, and they're going to have to take some time for us to think through their strategy, right? Right. No one's just gonna start chucking grapes recklessly. No, they have fifteen minutes. They can make a plan. They they can they can think it things out. They wouldn't just want to throw the grapes wildly. That would right. that would be very effective. If anyone just does that, I've got a few screws loose. Yeah. Should we start with Carter? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty good idea. All worth the same amount. Oh. Can I pick that up? Uh, yeah, you can pick it up, but you just can't get off the rug. Okay, guess I'm not picking it up. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Good start. <laughs> okay. Um, this is not gonna go well, is it? One! That's one. Grapes and twisms, so I can't just farm that one forever. As many cups. That's correct, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna close my old rat eye to get some good. It worked. Didn't work. That was the win, that wasn't me. That was also the win. I'm almost out of grapes. You saw that. Yeah, pulls to the right. 
What the hell? <laughs> Okay, that... Ah, shit. My ineptitude. Ah. Oh. Not much, Carter. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm willing to call it. Great, great, uh... Uh, it was two cups. Yeah, two cups. Two cups. Oh, it was three. No. <laughs> um, Carter said after that test that he felt he had lost his grape that privileges, <laughs> uh, but he did continue to say grape. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did anyone call it the butter solution? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, everyone. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll uh, we'll start by looking at Henry Max and Parker, and we'll see what they did. So I can't leave this rug, but I can probably move this rug. Yeah, I can. Okay. There's one. <laughs> Alright, let's do. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Alright. Thank you. Can I leave this now? If I'm done? If you're done. Yeah. Yeah, alright, I'm done. Alright, thanks, Parker. Cool. One in here. <laughs> Is that it? Don't think I see any more cops. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think I'm done. All right, thanks, Henry. Thanks, David. Okay. Yeah, I certainly enjoyed sort of the, the contrast and strategies between uh, moving the cover around. We had Max sort of shuffling along, uh, contrasted with Parker, who very delicately folded it over and. It was very thoughtful about the way you moved it that way. So, um, yeah, well, they all did uh, very well. They found um, all ten cups, uh, so they each uh, yeah. yeah they each got a grape to all ten cups without breaking the rules. So mm -hmm. yeah, well done, well done. We haven't seen Ben and Owen yet. Uh, oh, yeah. And let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at B O. I have three. Okay. Kind of smushed that as a print though. You can go inside and find a cop. I know there was a cop inside. Fun. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No grapes in here. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
Now we've got to find the damn cups. Yep. <sighs> damn it. Oh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, done. Thanks, bud. More. Two more cuts. Done. Thanks, Owen. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm curious why Owen felt the need to fish it out of the trash. I think I needed more cups. <laughs> no, 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 the maximum amount of cups. I was, I was positive. Owen was genuinely like desperate. He, he thought that everyone was gonna do the same thing. He was, he was, he was really, really. I needed lovely. all of them. Um, so yeah, so Carter has got sort of two cups. Henry, Max, Parker all got ten cups. Ben got thirteen cups. Owen uh, just barely edged out with fifty nine cups. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, proud is life moment. Yeah, so it's one point to Carter, um, joint third place, so four points each to Henry, Max, and Parker, five points to Ben, and the winner of that task is Mr. Owen Gage. Uh, okay, we're gonna score check here. Um, uh, Henry is in last place with five points. Um, uh, Parker and Carter are in joint fourth with seven, Ben with eight, uh, Max with ten, and our current leader with uh, a perfect score so far is with 12 points. Is Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, our next test, this is a task for a very special day. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, 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 how are you doing? Good, how are Good. you? I'm doing well. Nice. nice. Are we doing this together? Is this like a team task thing or are you a part of this? No, I'm just here. I'm just watching you. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm alive. <sighs> <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> what do we it. have here? That's it. All right, come on, put her in your Carter. Bring it home. So I'm gonna. I I thought I was very clear with my uh, casting instructions, and that I wouldn't share screen time. <laughs> so I'm gonna hear from my lawyer about this. I just uh, unfortunate to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> won't listen to it. Okay. You ready now? Yes. You ready? Yes. There's not gonna be like five more little clouds. <laughs> Let's see. Compose and perform the best original birthday song. Best birthday nah. Birthday song wins. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts. Wow. Do we work together? Do we work together for this? David, oh. you've given us way too yeah, much you free reign. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, this is oh, 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 you, you want to do that like in the camera? You're comfortable with that one? Um, I've done worse. It could just be all a cappella. <laughs> but I, I'm so bad at singing. Yeah? I am too. I'm awful. Let's harmonize. Oh. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, we're a good party. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, uh, Harmon sounded like they were both going to the dentist together. <laughs> it's that original. Yeah, so they, so, so there's a team, there's our first team task of the season. They each have to write um, an original birthday song, the best new original birthday song. Um, we're going to start with uh, Henry and Max's birthday song. It's your birthday again. You were born, now you've come. Are you proud <laughs> of yourself, or are you feeling numb? Another year has passed you by. Time is slipping. Will you cry? These routines. Where did it go wrong? Interesting mood to choose for birthday song. <laughs> you know, we kind of decided to put a spin on the whole, you know, happy birthday song. Yeah. Um, said you said you just wanted a birthday song, so we made a birthday I think the reaction song. really got really sold that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we see another one. Um, well, so Ben and Owen are going to be up next. They just did, they both just did great on the last set, so they're probably going to be great again. Yeah. So, I'm um, not sure I want to watch yeah, this. Thing. You did say you were not going to watch this. I think, this, that, I think that the keyword is original. Okay. <laughs> and this is a very original person. <laughs> 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 yeah. okay. Does that mean I get Owen's points? Uh, no. Well, <laughs> great right team member. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if there'll be much of a difference either way. But, um. <laughs> well, <laughs> our song's great. I don't know what you're talking about. Luke, I just asked you really quickly what is your birthday? Uh, July 8th. The name of the song is called July 8th. Whoa! Whoa. Whenever you guys are ready. It's July 8th. <laughs> Did you know on this day that on this day this day NATO invited Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic to join them. Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic! Vermont abolished slavery. Take that, the South! The Liberty Bell cracked. Again. Oh no! And also, it's Luke's birthday! Oh, Happy yes! birthday! Happy birthday! Woo! Fuck, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, David, I'm not going to come back at it again. I think, okay. I'm on a real falsetto. <laughs> I was impressed. Oh my god. You know, that good set of pipes. <laughs> David, I might have kids someday. <laughs> and they could watch that. Uh, hopefully none of them are born on July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really, it seems like they, like, were, like, improvising that, but, like, they put by far the most time into the lyrics, you know, like, they argue, the, like, they have the most arguing about, like, what the song is. I said we should have had a sad birthday song. Yeah, they, it, it turned out really good. Every so. lyric had so much thought, a shocking amount of thought for this <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've got one more team here. It's uh, Team Carter and Parker. Um, their song is called um, A Birthday Cheer for All to Hear. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Yeah. Oh.
<clears throat> it's your birthday, you know? Your motherfucking birthday! Balls in your mouth, it's your motherfucking birthday! Call the fuck yourself, it's your motherfucking birthday! Yeah, 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 it's your birthday, yeah! Comes one day a year, listen up, bitch! Let me in! It's your birthday! You're older now, fat and gray! Your skin's fucking rotten and you smell of decay! It's been a year, and what did you do? You sat on the toilet and took a shit! <laughs> It's your birthday, that one special day. It's your birthday, and we have got one, one thing, thing to say. say. Go, Go fuck yourself! I will say they, I mean, they, like, all the other teams had, a, I would say, like, at least a normal, healthy amount of discussion about <laughs> what the song would be. I mean, there's two people on each team and they had different opinions. Harvey Parker, they, they didn't discuss, they just wrote. They, 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 they genuinely had the first verse written less than 30 seconds after opening. <laughs> they just, they just were on exactly the same page. <laughs> Um, so those are three songs. Um, you guys score the teams. Um, we're gonna do one, one point, three points, and five points for the teams. Um, I think I might know who your last place is. I don't think. You okay, do. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I think it's a three-way tie for first. Yeah. That's that's tough because I was I was planning on having two teams tied, but um, I'm going to put um, Parker and Carter in first place with five points. Ooh, I thought you were gonna um, say the other way. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to put, um, I think, Henry and Max in second with three points. And Shocker. I guess that leaves um, Ben and Owen. I think you point. should put two people tied. <laughs> I am shocked. <laughs> we have a lot of our... I think All right, the winner of that task is Carter Parker. <laughs> had earlier about how this will age. <laughs> <laughs> just see. Just see. Carter, remember the song, It Will Age Like Wine. Oh, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. 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 All right, uh, what else you got for me? All right, we've got one more task. task. Um, this last task, uh, we'll be keeping it fresh. Oh. Hi Carter. Great bats. That's <laughs> just a little joke. Hi Owen. Hey David. I like this one already. Make the tallest tinfoil power. Your tower must have load bearing tinfoil. What is load? Does load bearing mean you're gonna put something on it? No, it just means at least part of the tower needs to be tin foil and load bearing. What is load bearing? It supports the rest of the tower. Your tower must be freestanding. Every time your tower topples, you must vastly overreact. Tallest tower wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Oh boy. <laughs> Aluminum foil, the wise man's bane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 
so they had built a temple tower, um, the tallest temple tower one. Uh, the tower had to be freestanding, and it had to have some amount of load bearing tinfoil. They were a little bit confused about what that meant. Uh, generally, as just intended, they were allowed to use other objects, but their tower had to be primarily tinfoil, and there had to be at least some part of the tower that was supported by tinfoil. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're gonna see some people uh, take a stab at this. We're gonna start with Ben, Parker, and Henry, all building their tinfoil towers. Okay, can we measure that? Let's do it as a baseline in case my tower topples over a lot. Oh no! No! Oh. Right? Okay. I don't think this is. It's still not freestanding. What? No, it's freestanding. The wall is part of my creation. Got it. I can put some tinfoil on the wall. Okay. Uh, this is five foot ten. Oh, it's improvement. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Okay. Look at this. six inches um, and didn't use anything other than tin foil. It was just tin foil, just straight up four feet six inches. Or um, in terms of Pokemon, uh, it's the height of a quagsire. <laughs> uh, Parker similarly um, did not use any materials other than tin foil and also built a quite tall tower. Um, this was just four feet um, or a Lucario height tower. Uh, so, yeah, so then we come to Ben. Did the, did the rules say you had to only use tin foil? No, but yeah, what you did was you wrapped. Well, uh, do you want to describe yeah. it? <laughs> so, David said primarily tinfoil, right? So yeah. No! It said, yeah, primarily tinfoil, load bearing, and yeah. freestanding were all adjectives. Okay. <laughs> there were requirements in the past. Yeah, and they so all were met. <laughs> so, are for freestanding is that the wall of the building is part of your tower? Yeah, but just the part that was touching the tower, just that very small <laughs> part. Okay. Actually, Luke, can I make an addendum? The sure. entire earth was part of the tower. Ben did build a second rule abiding tower after after okay. that, though. So, in that one, uh, he didn't spend a lot of time on it, though. So, it's only one foot nine inches or jigglypuff height. So. That's pretty good. Well, I can accept that one. Yeah. All right. You can accept the first one, too. No, I don't think I will. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a Pokemon for that one, so we can't accept oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Okay, um, all right, should we move on? All right, we've got, uh, uh, it's, uh, well, it's time to say GG, because it's Gage and Green up next. Carter, oh. Owen Gage and Carter Green. Should 
than a mechanical engineer. Are you saying you should have been an engineer because you're doing so well at this? Because I'm doing so shit at it. Ah. Put it because you think you've already won? Can't believe it. David, this is a shit task and you know it. You know this task is shit. <laughs> Damn power. Seems like it's gonna be dangling off of the beam. There. That's there. <laughs> right, so it's standing on the box. Right. Yeah. Got it. Tower toppled. God damn it! I hate this match! And I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get it? Yeah, definitely. This definitely counts. Alright, you're done? I'm so done. This is definitely counts. Okay, thanks, Owen. So, this, just to clarify, this is the tower on the ground here? Or? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what does the word freestanding mean to you? I'm um, that last bit. <laughs> the last bit. <laughs> like, like, I knew that only that last bit. I think Owens counts as a tower. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> go, going through it, I was like, oh, this totally doesn't count, which, why, which is why I ripped it down. Because okay. it wasn't freestanding. Yeah. So Owen did yeah. submit a, a legal yeah. tower then, the pile of tinfoil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I knew it was going to be that. It was, yeah, uh, it was ten, yeah. 10 inches tall, uh, yeah. canopy height, uh, which means Ben did actually beat someone. Wow. Yeah, so. It was, it was yeah. something. I'm shocked. Um, and then the other one yes. was similar to Owen's, Yes. but there was an additional like, something on yeah. top. Yes. <laughs> yes. You see, my tower had bits dangling down. Instead of being built from the ground up, okay, now hear me out on this, right? <laughs> Let's say I had a really long flag and my tower was on the cliff. Watch the footage, the there was a bit of tinfoil holding up a different piece of tinfoil. Right. That, 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 but it fell off. Yeah, it fell off. No, 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 no. There was Ooh. another bit on the on the box. Carter, Carter, look, a load-bearing wallet. <laughs> 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 okay, we've uh, we've isolated Max here. Um, you know, obviously this means one of two things. Um, what would you say, Max? Me? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think relative. I don't know. What's the difference? We'll take one of the taxes. So it must be load bearing. There must be some tinfoil in the tower that supports the weight of the rest of the tower. Hey, can I use a tripod? Sure. Yeah. Can use that one. <laughs> Where's the load experience? Oh, it's up here. Oh. It's low. So this is being supported by tinfoil? Yeah. Okay. Among other things. Alright, you want me to measure it? Well, I can also do this. It's pretty long. But actually, this is good. Perfect. Now, there's no arguing with that. 
That tube is being supported by this info. Well. Yeah. Okay. So like five foot two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, I'm okay with that. You're done? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Mass. Um, yeah, well, uh, I would just say, relative to the other contestants, I think I very clearly checked all three of those bits what? off. Was the tinfoil really the thing that was put in the yes, middle? Yes, yes, that, yeah. that, that part was entirely tinfoil. Um, Max's uh, tinfoil tower uh, was five feet two inches um, of Blastoise height. It's actually just barely over Henry's, who accomplished the same thing with just only tinfoil, only beat it out by um, eight inches. Henry should get extra points. Only tinfoil? Yeah, that's way more. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Carter's, I don't believe, is freestanding. Um, okay. So I can't give you that. Right, so I just think they believe wrong. Right, we'll <laughs> give so, I'll give you one point. Uh, for the top Didn't of the even, even I don't even get a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how does everyone stack up? Okay, everything Everything else is fine? Everything else is fine. Okay, then in that case, so it's one point to Carter, two points to Owen with 10 inches, three points to Ben with... Uh, one foot nine inches, four points to Parker. Uh, I forgot to say something, Parker, when you were doing that task, you said, my mom would weep if she saw me doing this task. You care to explain? My mom weeps when she sees me. All right, then five points to Henry for four feet six inches, and where that task is Max Barber. <laughs> I'm feeling like one last test. One last test, that's right. Um, try to contain yourself when you watch this last one. It's a little bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Time to take off all my clothes. <laughs> oh, that's not looking so good. Oh boy. David. Yeah. Some weird looking green pus coming out of here. Oh, this out is where? not good. Where is it coming out of? Oh. Oh. Yes. My oh. oh my shoulder. This is not good. I'm gonna need some disinfectant. Oh. 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 There go my pants. Imagine that's not what you wanna see. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Max. Thanks, David. <laughs> Those are about pretty good. Um, I was so happy with that. Yeah. I really feel like I hit the nail on the head there with that one. Personally. He kept saying it was a deep cut. Going <laughs> <laughs> to the beach is a deep cut. No, no, just just that just that idea to, to come up with it there. I felt like my mind really found a gem. Yeah, personally. He was really pleased about that. Yeah. I still am. I still am. Um Owen was not very pleased about it. <laughs> I thought it was a horrible idea. <laughs> yeah, I like. I was wondering why you decided to moan during it. That seems like an odd choice. We're gonna we're gonna continue on this trend. We're gonna go another two people who chose to do a sexy act and unsexily. Um, so again, they'll be trying to do things as unsexily as possible. This is Carter and Henry's attempts. Um, I have chosen to not add music to their attempts in order to try to simulate the oh, atmosphere yes. that happens during both of their attempts because yes. um, it. I just want. I feel like everyone should have to experience it. <laughs> Is it okay if you like leave me alone up there for like a couple minutes and I can call you up? Yeah, do whatever you want. You're gonna love it. Hi, Carter. Oh my. <laughs> to give you a very erotic massage. Hey, David. Hey, Henry. I'm just being a good boy. Uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> bigger than that. Does that make you feel nice and hot and good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. How about I just put this right here for you, and then I can wiggle it around for you. Is that, is that good for you? Yes. Do you like that? I like it. I like it a lot, don't you? I like it a lot, Henry. That's right. For the most part, my erotic massage now. So, let's talk about your parents. <laughs> Yeah. My parents are very hot and sexy. Are you eating corn nuts? Yeah. It's very sexy. Is it okay if I touch you? Yes, I consent to touch you. Cool. Do you, do you like it when I put my hand on your shoulder like that? Yeah. That's good. Do you like this? That's good. That's good. How how hard are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm moderately hard. <laughs> That's what we do. Okay. I'm weirded out, so I'm gonna call it. <laughs> okay. So I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> <sorry. laughs> <laughs> How was it? Are you going to relax now? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my first thought is that Henry's is not very successful. <laughs> it was moderately what? hard. Yeah. 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 Wow. Like, I think that was that was a joke. Yeah, I was I was Yeah. I was trying to be unsexy. You know? Yeah, so he was trying to go. Oh! <laughs> That's, that was I don't like the wear of that for either of them. I, I think we should ask David the question. Were were you actually hard? I was not hard. <laughs> that was, it was it was genuinely. I think it was genuinely one of the most uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I think he did very good. I, got, like, I genuinely think Henry and our relationship changed. After. <laughs> 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 we're a lot closer. We're just so miserable. Are you hard? <laughs> Well, you know, I wanted, I wanted to keep the eye contact going to make sure that, like, we knew that this was a serious situation, that we weren't playing around. Um, and then you mentioned that you were at least semi-hard. Yeah. And I, you know, that made me really nervous. <laughs> um, I'd say Henry also bought bought a hat for that task and put it on me. I don't know if you could see it. The hat said, ban idiots, not guns. <laughs> Carter, yeah. There were a lot, a lot of bits you didn't see, but I'm glad you did. Yeah. I was chugging a root beer the whole time, trying to get myself to burp. <laughs> First off, uh, I want to say that didn't work, but it also backfired because I was burping the rest of the day. <laughs> I did ask about David's grandparents as yeah, well. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, you also asked me who I voted for. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna move on. So we've seen four people try to do a sexy thing unsexy. We're now seeing the two people who chose to do an unsexy thing as sexily as wow. possible as Ben and Parker. Did they actually try to do that? Um, so, Parker's unsexy action that he chose to do was to try to instigate political arguments, <laughs> and Ben chose to eat a muffin. Yeah. So, and remember that we're, what we're about to see, particularly Ben's attempt. All these unsexy people fail. Is that, it's when we watch Ben's attempt, I think in particular, remember that this is them trying to be as sexy as possible. Yeah, exactly. It's them trying to make this as sexy as possible. Oh. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're doing sexy political debate on So first let's get this let's get this belt uh loosened up a little bit, right? And then let's go ahead and go on to our lovely Reddit alternate account. <laughs> 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 We're gonna go on r slash politics, find a post, comments, sort that like the most controversial comments. Let's 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 reply to this guy. <laughs> so let's say ha. Get a load, load, load of this guy. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start throwing around terms that, that just don't apply. A flimsy straw man. <laughs> and making bad faith statements. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, that's hot. <laughs> God, I really told him. Ooh, we, we have a reply, we have a reply. We can get it. Oh, dang it, it's just auto mod. I 
Say eleven little word fastest wins. Your time starts now. Oh god. Let's get here. Uh celebrate. <laughs> Is that it? Thanks, Max. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. Peace. Yeah, so Max, um, well done there, seven seven seconds, I believe. Ooh. Uh, and then let's see if uh, Parker can beat that. Uh, oh, it's, I got this, any second now. It's like a lockbox. What word is that? That was defenestrate. That's also one word, exsanguinate. That's, that's one letter over. All these are one over, we're calcitrate. Um, <laughs> Medicine is two under. Eleven? Is that even possible? Dogs with this two under. Four D isn't even close. I don't know if that's possible to give me Slovakia, that's oh. Chechnya, that's the same length. Cuba. <laughs> okay, true that. I could say Cuba. No, that would, that would be twelve. Cuba three times is so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're in there, isn't close either. If somebody's gonna claw me, somebody's gonna just like read this and instantly say some like you're a badass word. <laughs> um, okay. There we go, celebrate it. Yes, celebrate it. Oh, wow. Thanks, Parker. That had me sweating. Just for context, everyone did this tiebreaker and everyone got a score of under 45 seconds. Um, <laughs> Parker got a score of four minutes and fifty-two minutes. <laughs> oh my god. So the winner of episode two is Max Harbor. Max Harbor. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us for the second episode of Taskmaster Minnesota. Join us next week for see our contestants do another set of exciting and unexpected tasks. Goodbye. Woo!